all right it is monday i just finished reading the god of high school volume one and two i actually started reading volume one on sunday but didn't get a chance to finish it and so basically this story is about this organization trying to recruit very skillful fighters and yeah when i think of the god of high school i thought it was going to be about like students trying to become powerful and trying to become god but no it's quite different and so this organization is actually trying to find the best of the best i think it's because they're trying to maybe infiltrate or attack the north koreans and so they tried their best in the past but they failed and so now they really want to find the best of the best and instead of creating a weapon they want to find a very skillful you know a very tactical person and so it was quite boring i'll be honest but i think i just had to get used to to a lot of different fighting skills and there's a lot of backstory but I, I was able to learn all different type of you know there's karate taekwondo and all sorts and so yeah it's not bad of a read but i guess some part was kind of boring it's not really my thing it feels like the fighting is like you know the show wrestling because <laughs> there were some some characters used wrestling techniques and so yeah i heard the anime was pretty good unpopular and so i was kind of curious what this story is about but so far it's it's not bad i mean um it's nice that the pages is colorful because this is a webtoon so it's a manhwa and so yeah i think i'm gonna try to continue and see where this story goes because i think there's more to it like why they really want to find you know the best fighter i think they want to um i guess use that best fighter to like i said infiltrate and i don't know <laughs> it's it's i, I kind of find it weird but anyway it's just me it's just my opinion but yeah i'll show you guys the pages after this now the illustration is really nice the detail is there because every panel like you can really like you know see how detailed it is and like as i mentioned they're trying to recruit all these skillful fighters and then they have this tournament to have all the skillful fighters to fight one another and see who will win at the very end and whoever wins gets a witch which I doubt like you know that's that's the truth because you know we know that you know they want that fire to do more than what they think anyway so far it's it's not bad but maybe I was just tired because <laughs> I was kind of falling asleep I'll be honest but yeah I'll still you know give this a read and see where the story goes all right, what we have here is Galaxy Next Door, Volume 6. So this is the last volume of this series. Uh, a lot of things happen. First of all, Shuri and Kuga got married. And Kuga's um, siblings are all grown up. And eventually, they actually move out from that place and stole it. And decided to get a smaller place. Um, the sisters, since she's all grown up, she found her own place. But the little brother still lives with them. And then Shuri and Kuga um have a daughter which was super exciting and um sure it's just was worried about whether the daughter will have a stinger or not and so yeah and then the island where sure is from a lot of things happen as well a lot of the resident decide to move out and experience the world and now the parents decide to annul their you know that blood pack that they had and now the parents or the mom she's not very in, she's not in charge of the island like everybody's independent they don't have to follow certain tradition because you know i guess sherry made a huge impact and so yeah turn out for the best however i was a little bit <laughs> kind of disappointed but, but at the same time maybe sherry had a good decision not to go back there or have the parents see you know the granddaughter and so it was kind of like go 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 with a story like six years later five months later and so it wasn't like you know kind of like slow and so yeah um really sad that i already ended but on a good note i really, really like the series because usually when it comes to romance 
I'm very picky, but this romance, I just find it adorable. It didn't seem very cliche or predictable. I especially like Shuri because with everything, you know, in her surrounding, everything was new to her. She was just super excited and carefree and just very lovable and kind. That's why everybody loved her so much. And Kuga, you know, he's very patient and he's, yeah, he's just very patient and he's very nice. And sometimes he just needs to kind of like, laid back and just you know have people help him at the same time because he's very um you know independent and so yeah really really like the story uh, i actually like short series because you know you don't have to wait so long for whatever it comes and so yeah really really like the series i highly recommend it if you want something it's 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 you know fast paced the romance i don't know i find it cute you know because like i said i'm very picky but yeah, um, this is a library manga, so maybe eventually one day I'll own it. But for now, I enjoy my time reading this series. Totally, totally recommended. Alright, to end the night, I just finished reading She Loves to Cook, She Loves to Eat. As you can see in the front cover, that gives really a big hint. These two sweet friends are finally confessing to each other that they have the same feelings. And so, uh, what a lovely story. It's all about cooking and eating. And not only that, they love to share their experience with their friends. And so... Now in this volume, this girl, she wants her, she wants her sweet friend to live with her because, well, at the same time she has feelings, and then on top of that, she's trying to get away from her family who's been causing a lot of trouble, and so she wants to get a new address so that way they don't know where she lives, and so she's very happy because she, you know, I feel like she was more open to her own feelings and she didn't know if her other friend would feel the same way, but eventually they found out that. You know they both have the same feeling and so yeah they're taking this next friendship to romance and now living together and so they're very busy finding apartments however there's still some struggles here along the way but you know what <laughs> cooking and eating always solve the problem and so yeah um i don't i'm not sure when volume 5 comes out it's not really showing up and so hopefully it does come out soon because i really really like this series this is a gl but at first it didn't feel like a gl but yeah now it is and so yeah really really cute story i love of it because it's all about cooking and yeah even though i don't really like to cook the food is just nice to see and so yeah so just finished reading black butler volume 6 i'm getting the hang of this story at first i find it quite boring i think the panel was hard to follow it was super wordy but now i really like the story it's all about mystery cases regarding in the underworld that's not relating to the police and so seal the young master sebastian the butler their job is to basically solve all these mystery cases and they're being protected by the queen and then the queen is basically is the one who gives them you know what's their next case and so in this volume the case is all about the circus and then finding out the missing children because whenever children goes missing the circus group happen to be in the t same town or you know they want to figure out if the circus group is the one who's responsible for kidnapping all these children and so now they're trying to infiltrate go behind the scenes and well in order to actually get more information they pretended to be you know well skilled and very athletic and very talented and now they joined the circus so it was quite fun and i actually like the illustration in this volume and i'll put some pages on the screen and yeah it's it's really detailed i really like it i think because when it comes to circus it's just very detailed and i don't know the style is just amazing and so um so far the story is really good i can't wait to read more i'm glad i actually bought volume 7 because my library doesn't have volume 7 and so yeah we'll figure out who if the circus is behind all this kidnapping and yeah hopefully they'll find some more answers as you can see i just finished reading blood on the tracks three to six like holy cow this story is just getting worse and crazy because the crazy mom is oh like her personality is finally showing like her true identity and i feel like she has different personality and so the mom is very manipulated deceitful and has a way to convince his son that hey i didn't do that like hey you know blah 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 like oh it's just so frustrating the fact that she's doing this to her own son and the fact that the son listened to her because he has no really have any choice and i feel like he's just very trapped and sometimes he can't really voice 
like all his feelings because he doesn't know whether the mom will hurt him because the mom can be very physically abusive and so yeah um the first two volumes something horrible happened like the mom did something horrible and now like the son is trying to like he's trying to remember what exactly happened but like he finally confessed to his mom like why did you do it like but then later on the mom was like do you really think i did that like she's trying to change the whole scenario by deceiving him like like hey i didn't do it but like oh my god of course the son has no choice like he just has a problem of seeing the whole truth because the mom is just very deceitful and so now like no matter what some way somehow he's always running back to her because she's just very good and you know like oh the mom she acts like she's the victim here but she's not she feels like everyone should feel sorry for her but hello she's the evil character on this freaking story and so overall this story is just very nuts i seem to just like it i'm into it because i kind of want to know what's gonna happen next but at the same time i get really nervous to be honest because like it's so unpredictable and like sometimes like very shocking i'm like i can't believe she just did that you know quote unquote and like hello whoa i never read something so super intense like this is sort of like psychological thriller and suspense oh my god just very psycho i really really like the story and i can't wait to read like more volumes because something like something happened at the very end of volume six because of what she did in the first two volumes and so we'll see where the story goes like holy cow i just want to add this that there is a moment where he felt like he was normal he was able to talk to someone and that someone happens to be this girl who wrote a love letter to him and so they start hanging out regularly you know just sharing sort of what's going on but he hasn't really fully told her but overall at the end you know he's always going back to his mom because sometimes he has all these memories rushing to him like small bits of memories about what happened to him with his mom but it's not very clear and so it's very psychological and and then on volume three there's there's a lot of scene like where he couldn't speak because about what happened in the first two volume because like i said it's psychological and so yeah there is that moment where he was able to talk and was comfortable and he was was happy you know for a moment until it was briefly interrupted by his crazy mom because the crazy mom was stalking him and so yeah but like i said at the very end he still went back to his crazy mom i finally finished reading the quintessential quintuplets so i read 10 to 14 because this is a short series well kind of but it was still a good of a read i really, really liked the end it was quite happy and shocked and i cried a little bit because it's been a long journey reading up to 14 and so the last four volumes basically talk about the girl's backstory how futaro met the little girl and now he has to make this decision to who he wants to be with because about maybe four sister has a crush on him and so they've been trying to find a way to confess to him and however they get disrupted and then something happened and then one of the, the other sister who hasn't have a crush on him i think she does but i think in the end she didn't want to cause more conflicts because she wants to be the bigger sister to just let everyone just do whatever whatever they want to do and she's mostly focused on her studies and her dreams and goals and so forth and yeah so last four volumes just talks about like what it just what i just said and also talks about the high school festival and how they would spend their you know their high school time being with futaro because after this high school festival is basically about studying and then you know getting ready for college and so and then also during that time he needed to choose who he wanted to be with because eventually it was revealed that he does have feelings for one of the girls and it was revealed and i was completely in shock because i thought it was this sister but no it happened to be this sister so i can't i don't want to spoil anything but yeah i was shocked yet i'm still happy that he chose her because it kind of makes sense why he chose her because she's very like always there for him she's very supported and always like cheerful and joyful and she's more positive than the other sisters and so i kind of understand now and so 
and then at the very end they got married and all the girls are happy for him even though like of course one of the sister probably wish she was with him instead of the other sister and so yeah they're very supported it was quite a fun read overall i love the ending and yeah i can't believe it already ended i'm actually watching the anime and i do like the anime as well and yeah even though like i didn't really like at first but i got the hang of it and yeah it's probably like my five or six series that i finished like i read from one to you know until the very end and so yeah i think it's like the most volume i read so far one to 14 and yeah i'm i'm glad i read this series i do enjoy it um I, I don't have this on my collection yet maybe eventually i will if i want to reread it and later in the future and so yeah totally totally enjoy my time and if you get a chance give this a try now i'm gonna end this reading log for this week and so i didn't read this much because um the last the first three days i was um busy with my brother being in town and so i didn't really start reading until sunday but then continue on monday and so forth and so yeah it's still a good amount of manga i read i really enjoy a lot of them <laughs> like even though some were boring and some ended and some were crazy and psycho i still enjoyed my time and yeah i can't wait to read more other series on my next reading log and unfortunately i finished galaxy next door and also the quintessential club topless and so that was a big success and i'm so happy and proud and yeah um thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading log i'll see you guys next time